If you ever thought about getting a successful mentor or coach and you actually want me, Spectacular Smith, to actually coach you and become your mentor, I'm actually so excited about releasing my online school, Spectacular Academy, where I'm actually going to teach you live once a month different skill sets that's actually going to help you change your life for the better transformational information that I'm going to give you guys access to. I have a formula to success that every single company that I ever touched turned into gold. And I have over 14 companies, okay? And all of them have the same type of success. So I want to teach you everything that the school system should have taught you. You know, everything that I know and how I built these fast growing companies and these award winning companies and show you real curriculums that I'm going to break down. You're going to have access to me. I'm going to be live in the chat rooms. I'm going to be live in the Facebook groups and personal communities that I'm going to give you guys access to of like minded entrepreneurs. So you're not by yourself on this mission. Not only you have me as a coach and a mentor, but you actually have your peer to peer people that's going to push you and root for you on the way to the top. Guys that's on the same exact weight limp that you are on and want the same exact results because my game plan is to change the way the school systems teach and teach you the things that need to make an impact in your life. Things that's going to be a high ticket skill that you can use forever where you don't never have to worry about going broke or not eating at night because once you learn how to market and brand yourself then you can eat for a lifetime you get access to my team and everything if you want to go to my free training just to get a sample of the things that's going to be in my program you can actually go to specmentorme.com or i'm gonna put it in the bio only take a certain amount of people every single month so reserve your seat and do not procrastinate because you might just miss out. Now let's get to the podcast. What's up, everybody? This is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. Who wants to start first? What is challenging you that I can help you with? Um, for me, I honestly need an accountability partner. Um, because 2020 for all of us, I'm pretty sure, um, has been ridiculously crazy. So I've been sidetracked amongst myself and just to be transparent, like the whole quarantine gave a lot of us like quarantine depression. So it kind of put us behind the ball in a lot of ways, you know, so, um, I need accountability and, I know my, I, I know my social media presence is a, is a certain way to certain people. Now I'm trying to figure out how do I monetize that and help my people around me get their ideas off in the process, excuse me, in the process as well. So it's just like trying to figure out the keys of, of doing all of that through your program. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, man. So definitely when we wrap this thing up, Every last person here is going to have accountability partner. So that's the last thing you have to worry about is accountability partner because every last person is going to have one uh, when we leave this meeting. In terms of your social media, did you go to my social media Instagram boot camp class? Excuse me? You went to the Instagram boot camp, the live boot camp class I just did? Oh, no. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't do that one. No. The class is amazing. So we're going to actually take the videos from the class and we're going to add it into the program. So it was like an exclusive class. I did students only. Uh, I had a few students that paid 10 grand to jump into the class, but all my students jumped in for free. I uh, really was like a dollar sign up fee. So um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing some more of those. I don't know when, but I'm going to just be, you know, pop up, pop up trainings. Um, but for the most part, definitely I would just once that class get in there, just jump in there. And it's really about like branding and like different type of business models, the social media growth. Um, And I broke it down even deeper than the program. I just went like a couple more layers. So that should get added in within like the next week or two. Once that get in, you can, you can kind of jump in and like go ahead first in that. 
But other than that, what are some of the big biggest pitfalls you're seeing right now? Honestly, just um, well, I have a few different pages. So I have a podcast page, I have a lifestyle page, I have my personal page, which also goes into my music page. Then I have a talent management. Page. I have a few pages for because I, I have different markets and different demographics for different things, but. I noticed definitely on my personal page, be, being that that's the one I had the, the longest, I get most of my engagements there. Um, but I'm trying to, like I said, convert that to my lifestyle page and my talent management page as well. Um, my podcast page is doing amazing right now. So, but that's because there's a few people working that pot. But the other stuff that's my own ventures, I'm trying to get those moving now and trying to find out the right ways of doing that as yeah. well as monetizing off of it as well. Yeah. Okay. So really great advice for you is that when, when I was focusing on a bunch of pages, mm -hmm. my main page got lost in the sauce. And when I'm building my pages, I realized that me as a person, I am the brand. And for me, it's like a, a pot, right? You got a pot and you got other pots that's on the side of it. Once that one pot overflows, it automatically flows into the other pots, right? But if you try to take like, you got a bucket of water that you, you're filling these pots up with, you take that one bucket and you pour a little bit in your personal pot, then you pour a little bit in this pot, pour a little bit in this pot, guess what you got? A bunch of half-assed pots, right? But if you focus on the main pot and you fill that main pot up, and then that main pot fills up, not as full, you at capacity. And you're so much at capacity, it's pouring into other stuff, right? So that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on one pot at a time, fill that up to capacity, and then that flows into the other one. So but what I'm saying is, is that once you focus on your personal brand, you automatically get the tag, the other pots, and followers are going to pour into those other pots. And all you got to do is figure out how do I put this on autopilot. And the way that you do that is you take a bunch of content, 30 pieces of content, and you schedule them all out at one time. You'll want to go to Prepper Does It, Hootsuite Does It, business.creator.studios. I think that's what it is. Or you could just Google uh, Creator Studios and you can schedule all your content from there. But it'll take you like 15 minutes, right? It might take you like an hour to find all the content and then 15 minutes for you to schedule everything out. So it might take you like an hour and 30 minutes max, and you got the whole month sold up for your content. Mm. And now when you pouring into other buckets, when you're posting about whatever you have, lifestyle, tag your lifestyle page, boom, they go, because they like that content. You're basically taking your main thing and you're splitting your people up based on their interests. So everybody who follow you, they like everything. Right. So now when you post your lifestyle, they're going to go there in that bucket. Boom. You post about your music stuff. Boom. Your music love is going to fall into that bucket. And then but you got to make sure you keep feet in the main bucket. So when you get them to come in as you're posting, they end up going other places. But based on the content that you're posting on your main feed, does that make sense? Perfect sense, actually. Yeah. All right. Cool. So what was your takeaway? Focus on my personal and everything else will follow. Yes. Yeah. And that's that. Right? I build my personal brand Spectacular. And guess what? You guys are buying from me because now Spectacular launched Spectacular Academy. Right? And you guys didn't just see Spectacular Academy and just wanted to jump on it. You know, you guys see me and then realize, oh, shit, Spec got this going on. All right? Spec got this going on now. Spec. So as the main influencer, whatever I decide to launch, it's going to pop to have a most influential I am as a personality brand because now me as a personality brand that you're rocking with now have this now. Now has this podcast. Now has this this song out. Now has this new book. Now has this online program. But it all stems from me as the personality brand. So if something flops, it don't matter if it flops. Kill it. Boom. I'm on to something else. Now I'm still promoting to the same crowd. If you blow up Spectacular Academy as a solo stand on his own brand, and focus 100% on that. Once it dies, it dies. But I never got nothing from that as the personality. But if I focus on my personality brand and I build the branches, 
then if one branch break, I don't care. I still got a whole tree here. And I can just grow another branch. Mm, makes sense. All right, cool. Let's go with uh, Tierra. The last thing for me personally is like funding. So that's what I'm working on. So, I mean, I don't know. What can I ask you about that? <laughs> um, okay, cool. So tell me, tell me your product. Tell me your product or your service or whatever you're launching. Well, the brand that I want to attach my face to, because I understand I needed to be like, like you said, you no, know, have your main page. I guess I kind of figured that for myself, that that's what I want to do. And um, cause I'm a type of person who like many different things. I don't like putting myself in a box. So yeah, I would do lifestyle, fitness, um, health, beauty, clothes, art. I'm into like everything. I'm trying not to do too much, but I know it starts with me. <laughs> so um the main thing i want to do i don't know if i want to say it <laughs> um i want to sell okay yeah we're all wrong i want to sell lingerie so i want to sell lingerie and like sleepwear and like body oils and like body jewelry and stuff like that so but i kind of want to do it all in like a collection so i just need working on the funding to do everything i mean i'm trying to tell myself that maybe i could start one at a time like maybe i could do hoodies and then like sell hoodies and then have the hoodies like fund like the rest of the business maybe because hoodies um there's like print on demand sites or like services that can like help me start doing that where i don't have to like spend too much money but i don't know yeah just funding is like the issue right now okay so great thank you so i'm here to tell you funding is not the issue <laughs> the issue is getting started right Okay. Let's focus and narrow it on one thing. Yeah. Which one you want, which one you love the most. Because one thing about it, if you focus on the money, when shit get rough, you're going to bail out. Right? I don't know if you got kids or not, or who got kids in here. But do you, do you have kids? I have a not, son. You have a son? All right. So if your son does something, you're not going to be like, you know what, kid, get the hell out of my house. So get <laughs> You care about him. So if he aggravating you, he's getting on your nerves, things get rough, like you're going to go through thick and thin for him because you love him. It's the same thing with your business. If you don't have love for, for it, if things get rough, you have nothing holding you to it. So you want to figure out what do you love? What do you truly care about? And that's what I've been battling with because I told you I like everything. I started my Etsy. I've had an Etsy where I was selling certain type of products, but I kind of bailed on that because I didn't have... Let's do an exercise, Tiara. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm going to give you 60 seconds. You need to pick one of them. You know everything you got going on right now. Okay? I'm about to start this clock up. When this thing hits 60 seconds, <laughs> you get me an answer. All right? When this thing hits zero. Now, you let me know which one you want. You got one choice. You got to the to hit zero. Which one you love? Which one you care about? Which one is your passion behind? Which you feel? Which one you feel like is what you want to put your heart into? That's the thing. It's like all of them. It's like you know Rihanna, how she did. Seconds. We got <laughs> seconds. Pick one. My brand as a whole. Pick one. You know, I ask myself this every day. Okay. Uh, seconds. 20 seconds, pick one. You got one to set your heart on, just one. Just to start off with, it's not like you, you got 13 seconds. I guess the... Eight seconds. Pick, go, 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 five seconds. I can't pick, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't pick. Yes. I know, I know. Your lifeline. <laughs> your lifeline. I've been battling with that for so long I can't pick one because to me it's like a whole brand so I understand I just you can always implement something later yeah so just figure out which one you want to take your first step forward with that's it I wasn't a rapper a <laughs> entrepreneur a podcaster a best-selling author a school owner like all at one time I chose sure. one <laughs> Right? And then once I started rapping, the next thing happened was social media. And then from social media, I created my business, which was the agency. Of the agency, 
I decided to start a school, right? So you see how everything was one by one. I didn't start an agency, a school, rap, and like, I didn't do all that at one time, but I just chose one and everything bled into each other. All right, so which one do you wanna be your main source that you start with? And always, I would wanna start with your, your, your most, your, your passion. Which one that you can't sleep of because you think about it all the time? Like, man, if I did this, I'll change the world or I'll change, you know, whatever you wanna do. What is that for you? I guess when I think about it, that's why I figured I'll start with making myself like an influencer because um, I do like helping people. I like, like I said, I dabble into everything, but I have like, I feel like I could help people. All of them could help people. So maybe if I build myself up and then make, no. Easy one. You, you, it's not like you're leaving, it's not like you're, you're leaving no kids behind. You're going to take all the I'm kids. But somebody got to send it's the friend. Like if I was like, oh, I do this. They're going to be like, oh, okay, that's the girl that does that. And I'm like, oh no, now I got this. They're like, know. okay, now she has that. Sierra, listen to this. <laughs> Don't think about nobody. Just, okay. You're the only person in this world right now. What does Tierra wants to do? One thing, you're not saying <laughs> You're never going to do the rest of it. What okay. is the one thing you want to start off with? Um, I guess like the foundation is probably like the lingerie part. The lingerie? Great start. <laughs> I guess. Oh. Yeah. Don't say I guess. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You can always add the rest of the stuff later. Yeah. But focus on one thing. Trust me. I done been there, done that. <laughs> I done been there, done that. You start with the one thing, don't focus on anything else. Anything else but that one thing. <laughs> okay. Do you trust me? Yeah. Do you trust? I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that I got so many ideas run through my head, but I have to resist because <laughs> I'm going to teach you one thing. This is what's going to really, I think this is going to stick with you. People always ask me, Spec, how do you do it? I got guys make billions of dollars, right? And they be like, Spec, how the hell do you do this? And the, 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 the answer is, I integrate everything that has to do with who I am. Mm -hmm. Everything goes together. Mm -hmm. Spec don't have a truck driving company. Spec don't have a restaurant. Like, that don't go together. But guess what goes together? Pretty Ricky and a relationship book because I got 90% female demographic that goes together, right? Spectacular started an agency that deals with celebrities. Why? Because Spectacular is a celebrity from Pretty Ricky. I'm famous. So, okay, I know other celebrities. So that makes sense. It goes together. And then Spectacular learned all this stuff with an agency and he figured out how to do this for other people and regular people. So now Spectacular is gonna start a school that he's going to take the same thing he learned from his agency and then teach people the same exact thing he do for people that he charge five and $10,000 a month. So now you guys can do it and you get in for a fraction of the price. Spectacular is teaching. So I start a podcast that not only teaches people, but it helped bring people in for my school. So you see how everything connects? I didn't say spec on the salon. Like, it's gonna, that's going to be left field. You're going to be like, huh, you, you on the salon? Like, that don't make no sense, right? So you see how everything flows together? So when you come up with the lingerie line, if you decide you want to come up with, with lingerie jewelry, like that goes with your lingerie, that makes sense, right? If you decide you want to come out with a perfume uh, that with the same brand of your lingerie, that makes sense, right? So everything flows together and goes together but you don't want to go left field on something because then it doesn't match your brand. Yeah. I think it's because I have like an image of how I want to timing is everything with me and like the perfect time. I don't, I had a drop shipping lingerie brand, but I just couldn't do it because I didn't know the quality. It wasn't in my hands. I just didn't, I didn't feel good pushing something that I personally did not try or like, so I battle with that all the time. That's why I said funding in a sense, because I can't do all of what I want to do. I want to do my own shoots. I want to do my own um, 
just everything. I want to make sure it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. I understand things don't have to be perfect when you start, but there was just a certain level that I at least wanted it to be at before I started. <laughs> the perfect person to follow with this model is Master P. Yeah. Every excuse why he can't launch, right? But what he did, he just started. When I first started this program, this program was trash. I was just like, man, I'm going to just go and then I'm going to get better as the people tell me what they want. And then like, it's getting better and better and better now. Man, if you see what we got for the school, it's going to blow your mind what we got coming down the pipeline. It's going to be like, oh shit. But I didn't start there. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a, another example then I'm going to wrap it up. Instagram, you know what Instagram started off as? Mm -hmm. It started as a site for people, for photographers. It was strictly for photographers. Instagram was for photographers. And then it, they gave you filters. And then when you got the filters, they was like, oh, cool, this is it. And then it went from filters to, okay, and now videos, they added videos on, and then they only started with like a minute clip, a 30 minute, 30 second clip, then a minute clip. And then it got longer and then longer. And then Snapchat came out with stories and they went and robbed them for the stories. And then like, and then they start coming up with close friends. And then like, it's, it evolved. Mm -hmm. But they started as a picture site. You know what YouTube started as? It started as a dating site. Think about that. Wow. It started for people to connect, to date. And now it's YouTube. The number one thing is number one, I know it's top five of every website in the world. So however you start, it doesn't have to be the way that you end. Okay. okay? So start with the tools you have. Don't think too much. Even if the lingerie ain't the best lingerie in the world, you can figure out how to make it as close as what you want. But as you get better, you get the money and you take that money and you reinvest it. And then you get better and better and better and better and better. I'm going to give you this last example. It's actually a podcast that I want you to listen to okay. with Coco and Breezy. Okay. This is going to connect with you super hard. Okay. Go on my podcast. I got to figure out which podcast it is, but... I'm going to see if I can actually play it right here. Oh, here, God, I think this is... Man, listen, y'all had glue on y'all glasses when I first seen y'all, right? Yeah. And, and, and honestly, like, I was always a, a believer since the beginning. How long ago was that? That How was like over, over 10 years ago, because... Over 10 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, so, like, like think about that and, and, and just see how people in, evolve into who they are now. Like, y'all product is premium. It's a premium product. If somebody was to judge you based on where you first started, then you wouldn't be able to become the person you are now and for people to see that. But I I have, listen, my vision goes so far, people don't even be understanding. When I be seeing stuff, people don't be seeing it. So when I seen glue glasses, I seen stars from day one. It ain't matter if it was some glued on stones. I recorded that last year. And this is a live example of what I'm trying to explain to you. They had glue on their glasses. They one of the biggest glasses re like designers in the world right now and they yeah. glue on their glasses like literally glue like they took what they had they they didn't care they was like we got glasses they put their brand on it and it had glue on the glasses and now they're one of the biggest glass companies in the world and i recorded that last year and i knew them for 10 years so i'm telling the same thing i told them i'm telling to you right now so hopefully in 10 years, you're the same exact way as them and you're the number one freaking lingerie line in the on the planet, which I see the passion, I see the drive. The only thing that's going to stop you is you.